Hey YouTube, so I wanted to show you how I was wiring the Coyote Swap. So in the control pack, I'm rocking a 2015 Coyote Gen 2 motor. Uh, it comes with this fuse. Uh, ultimately, this is my battery zero gauge that's going from the trunk because I did a battery relocation. Uh, the other terminal, right? It's a 250. See this comes in the control pack, so don't worry. Just to show you if you're not using control pack, if you want to piece it together. Um, 250 amp fuse in between. The control pack slash fuse box will be over here. Over here is right battery. And then if you notice, I have another uh, 80 amp fuse. That's because I'm using the uh, Volvo power steering pump. Um, what will happen is... I'll have the power steering pump coming through here at 80 amp fuse, and it'll also be connected to the battery. Um, I'm also gonna have the starter connected here, as well as um, the alternator. So what'll happen is you think, oh, this will have too much draw. Well, ultimately uh, this will be off as there's a trigger for the power steering pump. So when we're turning the key, to the start position right this will be off as the trigger will be off via auxiliary um connection that's in the control pack the uh alternator will also be on here but that's okay so it'll get all the charge and there'll be no draw at the same time so yeah wiring right now i took it apart but besides the wiring Running that, just did the battery relocate. Did the uh, AC evaporator. Uh, bought it from LMR. Just gonna be vacuuming it, and then we'll need to put the rest of this together. But so yeah, we'll be using a four gauge wire from the alternator, four gauge wire from the starter, four gauge wire to the um, power steering pump. And then just the control pack will be on this one. Just so that there's no extra draw on the opposite side of that fuse. See ya.